we are going to create something from scratch today and it will help you start to think of how you can design games on your own without following a tutorial despite the fact that this is, actually is a tutorial so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to save our scene file save scene as and we're going to call this one bounce I'm going to call mine bounce 7 because I have that already in my file and there it is there's my scene you can call it scene 1 if you want whatever you want now I'm going to add a game object and the first one I'm going to add is a game object, 3D object, and a cube. And we're going to make this cube become like a platform. It's going to be the ground. And you'll notice that when I start to scale this out, I use the scale tool. And over here, you'll see the numbers in the scale transform will change. So I'm going to bring this out about this far and about this far. And if you're close to this, that's fine. If you want it to be bigger, that's fine too. You can go back and edit it and I'm gonna scale it down too. Alright, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add another game object, another 3D game object, and this time it's gonna be a sphere. Notice how it's embedded right in the middle, and I want that to be raised up. Of course I already know that if I come over here and I just put in 0.5, it's gonna raise it and have it sitting comfortably right on the um, right on the surface, but I'm actually not going to do that. I'm gonna raise it up higher, so I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to select the move tool and I'm going to move it up high because I'm going to ultimately want this to drop down. Next thing I'm going to do to keep things organized is I'm going to rename these. So my cube I'm going to rename. I can either right click rename um, and I'm going to call this one ground and I can either right click and rename it like I did this one or I could click gently on it and I get to change this and I'm going to call this one ball. Alright, so now we have something in our gaming world, but what I want to do now is I want to add some color and texture to this, some material. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go to Create Material, and that first one is going to be for the ground. This is just to help me stay organized. And then the next one that I'm going to create is going to be for the ball. Alright, so now I can edit the properties of what I want this material to be. So I'm going to select the ground first. And when I do that, I look that over here in the inspector, here's my options. Now, I could have had a graphic I wanted to put in here, um, but I'm going to go with a solid color. And I'm going to go with a darker color, like that. And I'm going to, I like that actually. And now I'm going to select the ball. And notice I'm selecting it down here in assets and not up here in the hierarchy. Because all I'm doing right now is I'm creating a material that I'm going to apply to something. I could apply it to anything, but for my own sake of keeping it organized, I'm applying it to the ball. So I'm going to come up here. I think this ball is going to be the color green. So I see it showing up right here, and I'm good with that. So all I have to do now, now I have to apply it, because if I don't drag it up here, it won't go anywhere. So there, there's the color for the ground, and I'm going to do the same with the ball. There we go. All right. Notice how because there's, there's main camera and directional light already in there, um, you see a shadow. Um, that's kind of a nice feature that Unity has. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually make it so that this ball has a rigid body. I'm going to apply some physics to it. That way when I have it start to drop down, it actually um, doesn't sink through. So I'm going to add component, I'm going to go to physics, and I'm going to go to rigid body. So now it has something on it when I press play it bounces but it stops right here so it but it doesn't sink through so we're getting there I want to make sure that is kinematic is not selected and use gravity is selected so what I want to do is I want to make sure that I want to create um, some physical material here so what this is going to do is this is going to let it actually bounce so this one is going to be for the, the ball, the first ball. So I'm going to call this ball. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and look at the properties up for it in the inspector. And the bounciness right now there's none. I'm going to give it one. It's nice that Unity has these already in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that up to ball, and let's see what happens. Okay, so it drops. That's not so bad. But I also can apply that right to the ground, too. And when I do that, it's going to give it some bounciness from the bottom up. So that's actually a pretty simple way to create a bouncing ball. 
The second part I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add another ball. So I want to see if you can try to figure that piece out on your own. So I'm going to pause the video here and have you try that on your own. 